Hi, this is Donnie Lowy from CloseOutExplosion.com. I hope you're doing well today. If you've been on the internet or you've been involved in the wholesaler closeout business for some time, you might have come across deals that are referred to as department store liquidations. Today I'd like to tell you what that is. Department store liquidations represent merchandise that is liquidated by a department store. And to say that in plain terms, it's merchandise that either the department store was unable to sell, so it could be clothing that they had on clearance and they still had clothing left over. It could be shoes which they had on a sales rack and still those shoes didn't go. They might have had three or four pairs left over by sizes that customers didn't want or a color that wasn't popular. Now you have to remember that just because a style or a size wasn't popular in a specific department store on a given week, it doesn't mean that someone else might not have bought it on another week or that someone in your store might not want to buy it. So just because it's a liquidation from a department store that represents clothing that someone didn't want to buy, it doesn't mean that it wouldn't be popular in your store or in your market. Another source of department store liquidation is clothing that it was as a result of overbuying by the buyer of the department store. For example, let's say the department store buyer expected to be able to sell 500 women's suits by Tahari. And maybe the weather was too cold and customers weren't coming to the department store that week. They didn't come the following week. Maybe customers just didn't need that many suits. Whatever the reason is, the buyer overbought and now he's sitting on 500 women's suits by Tahari. So what he'll do is he'll liquidate those suits, he'll sell them to a liquidator or to a closeout business such as my business for a fraction of his wholesale price and then I'll sell them to my stores at a below the original wholesale price. The department store, remember, doesn't want to have clothing sitting too long on their racks or on their shelves even if they're going to replace the same clothing next week because they understand that the more times a customer tries on clothing at their store the faster that clothing could start looking used and worn so they want to move that clothing out pretty fast if it's a pair of shoes let's say for example they have a really nice style of nine west shoes and they have 200 pairs of them and customers come in, they try them on, they buy some of them, some of them they don't buy. They try them on a second day, a third day, a fourth day. So you can imagine after a week of people trying on those shoes, they're not going to look that new anymore. So the department store wants to avoid that situation. So after a given amount of time, they will liquidate any unsold merchandise that they have, even if they're going to replace it with the same or similar merchandise. This way the merchandise in the department store will always look fresh and this way they'll keep the loyalty of their customers. As a closeout business, and as other wholesalers do as well, I'll buy what's called department store liquidations. I can buy overstock. There are also store returns available. There are job outs available. And then I'll sell that merchandise in my warehouse to customers that visit the warehouse, and I'll sell it to customers that, that visit the website and place their orders online. Right, if you have any questions, you can give me a call or send me an email. My website is closeoutexplosion.com. Thank you and have a great day.